Hey guys, perhaps surprising no one, Magic the Gathering is on the list of hobbies that females find the least attractive. In fact, it's just sitting outside number 11. So it's at 11, so it's just outside the top 10 hobbies. Now, someone who is in a serious relationship, I just had a daughter, Farina, and, you know, I have been dating a while. I've put my heart into working and I did buy lots of magic cards during this time because I was making quite a bit of money. So I put it in magic cards. I put it in the Pokemon cards. I put it in the anime figures. I put it in mother effing Funko. Apparently none of these hobbies are attractive to women, which I had to learn by myself. So uh, I own a marketing agency here in Houston. It's mildly successful. It's definitely very successful online for the size of the agency. We have the largest online presence for an agency less than 10 employees. We just simply do on LinkedIn. We have hundreds of thousands of followers and so on as a uh, combined. I have 50,000 followers myself. So yeah, we are doing well. We're doing really, really well right now. Uh, the baby is, you know, it's kind of funny, right? You, you sign up a shit ton of clients now and it's just like, what the heck? Like these guys didn't want, <laughs> everyone wants uh, to hire you now that you have a baby. So number one, I will say this, uh, having a child is the most important thing in the world. It is much more important than any amount of magic cards or Pokemon cards. And as a dad, I'm just going to straight up tell you that, um, that yes, that child is more important than anything else in your life. So, but to have a child, often it takes two people. Now, I don't know about the in vitro or whatever, right? I'm not going to talk about that shit because I don't know very much about it. But I will say that when I was dating, so I am a business owner, entrepreneur, and I'm mildly successful. I'm worth millions of dollars. Uh, I have a home that is completely paid off and I paid it off in cash because that's how I do things. And the government thinks the home is three hundred or six hundred thousand dollars. I did not buy it for anything remotely close to that amount of money. I drive a very nice Lexus Sport model. I love my Lexus very much. I have multiple dogs: uh, Shiba Inu, Bengals. Uh, my Shiba Inu was a four thousand dollar dog, or she is a four thousand dollar dog. And maybe one day in the future we'll have Shiba Inu puppies, and that would be great because uh, puppies. I still found it very difficult. Uh, you have to get into shape. You have to travel. You have to pay for a lot of things that you probably don't feel like. Hey, you probably feel like, yeah, hey, I'd much rather have another Black Lotus than do this. Or I'd much rather have a Underground Sea than go to dinner at this place. Or buy Lady Gaga tickets for $500 a pop, right? That's basically an Underground Sea buy list. That's what I get the, my Underground Seas at buy list. So there's a basically a shift in mentality. Like if you do want to have a family, you do want to have a kid, you can't just think about, oh, I like magic cards, great, let's just buy more magic. No, buying more magic cards is actually detrimental to having a child. You have to do things that she wants to do. And then people go, oh, you're whipped. And no, this is just how it is, you idiots. Like, that's probably why a lot of the people who are the angriest in the community, they're all single males. And I don't know if they've ever dated. I don't know if they are currently dating. I just have a gut feeling that based on their language, their vocab and so on, they don't know how to treat other people with respect. They don't know how to do other things that they want to do, that other people want to or make people feel good about themselves. They just don't have that in their genes. That's okay. I mean, McDonald's employees, they just take orders. You don't need to have any of that savviness, right? So back to the dating thing. I'm just going to point blank tell you I've dated enough to understand this. Magic is one of the least popular. The, the data shows it, but, you know, I'm going to speak from experience. They will run away really fast. Uh, now... If you tell, if you say, hey, I like traveling. Hey, let's go to a nice restaurant to eat. This new restaurant opened up. Once they get to know you, like outside of a first date, like on the first date, you would never mention Magic the Gathering. There, there will be no second date. I guarantee you this, right? Um, 
but on maybe the four or fifth day, oh, you know, I'm also interested in this hobby. I framed it as, oh, it's kind of like an investment, alternative investment, which crypto is also on this list. So there you go, right? Apparently, women also hate crypto. So there you go. Maybe that wasn't the best way to do it. But I framed it as like an investment opportunity that I knew a lot about and the kind of like a real estate, if you will. And that was like, okay, right? I mean, at, at the end of the day, I, let me just speak honestly with you. You can't dedicate this much time. If you want to be in a relationship with somebody and you want to have kids, and kids are the best, right? Like having a daughter is the best. Um, and I wish that for everybody, you know, because that's a really great feeling. If you do want kids, you know, we got to work really hard at it. I sacrificed half my clients to make time for these dates. and these. I used to work 18 hours a day. Uh, especially during COVID, right? I was just working on my business. My business turned over excellent numbers, just for, like numbers that I would never have imagined a marketing agency my size could turn over. But that's because I worked 18 hours a day. I had no life. Um, having a kid, that is your life. And I wanted to like make a video like about this because I think a lot of people are in this mindset and I, I know who puts you in this mindset, right? I, there's a certain YouTuber who puts you in this mindset and it's set up to fail. You're set up to fail at life because you don't understand how valuable certain things are. Um, once I, I didn't understand, I, I didn't understand. I was set up to fail too. I bought the same mother effing boxes you guys all bought times like 100 you're you're set up to fail when you all you think about is buying more magic cards buying more pokemon cards buying more anime figures cosplay you are set up to completely fail at life because no matter how much money you buy no matter how many cards you own it won't make you happy um once you have a kid that's happiness the kid is very demanding i'm not even kid a baby it's very demanding um I mean, I, I'm still working a shit ton because we have a lot of new clients coming in. I'm still working a lot. I take care of the baby 14 hours a day. That's, that's my responsibility. I, for the most part, enjoy it. And then I have uh, free YouTube channels that two of them are growing incredibly rapidly. This is the only channel that I dedicate the least amount of time to. And it's still doing okay than most Meta Zoo channels. So there you go. I mean, that shows you the status of uh, the zoo. Go out there, find someone who loves you, love them, and have a kid. That's all I can say. That's life. So many people don't want to have two children, but until you actually have a child, you don't know why it's so amazing. Uh, it's amazing because, like, that's the future, right? So I watched this uh, show. It's called Naruto. And in one episode, they're talking about chess and why the king, even though the king is the weakest piece on the board, right? It can only move one space. But why is the king, like, so important? Because the king isn't the king. The king is the future. The king is the next generation up. That's what all those pieces in a chessboard are trying to protect. The next generation. Right? So if you can take somebody's king away and knock out their next generation, it doesn't matter how many pieces on the board they have. There's no next generation to play the game. So that was, I thought that was pretty interesting. And I, I think more of uh, like more of these daddy, dad, not daddy, dad quotes. Um, it's very tired, very tired.